again, everyone. I am here to do a follow-up review of the uh, Smoke Rose Gold Twisby Diamond 580. This is uh, not a special edition. I believe they're planning to carry it for the foreseeable future. There were some issues with COVID and everything, but I do think they plan to stock it at least for the time being, continually stock it. So this one, um, so I have two of these. One is a custom grind and then this one, which I purchased in an extra fine. I will put a link down below to my unboxing video of this one and uh, the ink that I put in it. So the original ink that I decided to put in it was uh, a Robert Oster shimmer ink. Um, the, oh goodness, now I've forgotten, but it was a rose gold ink basically. And, but, and the video will, will help you out. So as I was writing more and more with this, and I was trying to do some long writing, my nib kept getting clogged by the, uh, by the sparkle. <laughs> so I ended up having to change out the ink. And based on that experience and uh, another nib or another uh, Twisby in particular, extra fine nib that I have with another sparkling ink in it, or shimmer ink, I, I would recommend not using sparkly shimmery inks in extra fine nibbed pens, just because they do tend to get clogged. And I know I had a lot of comments, that's part of the reason why I'm following up today, is because I got a lot of comments on some people uh, saying, oh, I used a similar ink, or you know, I tried to use a similar ink and my nib just kept clogging. And at the time when I was doing short writing, I was not having that issue. It was fine for just, you know, um, writing like a paragraph or something and then putting the pen away and then getting it back and writing another paragraph. It was fine. But when I tried to do long writing with it, uh, it, it really did clog. So, so I ended up just emptying it out and putting a new ink in it. So what I've ended up putting in here is, um, is Mont Blanc's toffee brown which actually works quite nice in here so i'm getting my little ink testing book out from nemocene let's find a blank page here and i think it works quite well in here and i you know i love twisby pens twisby pens are great their nibs are wonderful so this is the twisby Smoke Rose Gold. With an extra fine nib. And this is Mont Blanc. Toffee Brown. Which I think is a great combination as well. Oops, sorry, I'm too far over here keeps happening. It's because I'm very zoomed in so that you can see a little bit better. Uh, and all right. But the long and short of this follow-up review is that the pen is great. I don't have any issues at all with this pen itself, uh, but I did have some clogging issues with the ink. So I think from now on, I'm just going to be either putting this particular ink, which I think actually goes quite well, or uh, a, a different ink, but not shimmer. Let me go ahead and put that up to the screen. This is actually quite a nice brown. Um, it's probably a little bit more true brown than I would like. I tend to like more golden brown colors, but you can see here in sort of the, the lighter mark that I made here, it actually does have a little bit of a golden quality to it. Okay, so that was just a short follow-up review. Um, there, there are several different fountain pens that I have follow-ups that I've either promised to make or uh, need to make <laughs> because, uh, because I've been using them more. I think what I might do is have sort of um, a batch video where I do some of the updates all, all in the same video. Um, please weigh in down below whether you would prefer to see individual pens with follow-ups or if you would like to have just sort of a batch follow-up um, for things that I have promised to follow up on and um, 
give you sort of my thoughts on after using. So I've been, I've, so far I've been doing this as sort of a one-off and uh, that's been working fine, but I, I just wanted to know your preferences. So just let me know down in the comments below. I will put a link to the prior video where I unboxed this and inked this and tried this out. And uh, I will also put a link to the Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. I purchased this off of Amazon, which I think I think they still had some the last time I checked, so I'll, I'll put a link to, the, to that um, that product page. And I think that was it for today. <laughs> Just a short video. Um, I mean, basically, I mean, I can talk a little bit more about Twisby generally. Um, it's basically one of my, if not the favorite, sort of less expensive pen models. Now, this is, this is obviously on the higher end of Twisby's as far as the cost of this one goes. And part of that has to do with the difficulty in putting together the rose gold coating. But uh, I just think I've, I've hardly ever have problems with Twisby nibs. They're tuned really well. Um, I, I love that they carry a lot of ink. I love that they're really easy to use. I love that they're easy to clean. And there's just so many things to like about Twisby. <laughs> uh, the only the only complaint I have about the the Diamond 580, this size, not the Mini, is that uh, it's generally kind of awkward to post it. You and I think technically they say you're not supposed to post it, but it's a little awkward when posted. I tend to like to post my fountain pens, um, and I think it's a little bit light when it's unposted. But the writing experience is fantastic. I, I would say of all the Twisbees out there, the Diamond uh, 580 Mini is my favorite because I can post it and it has a similar nib feel that's very smooth. That would probably be my favorite. This is probably my second favorite followed by the Eco. The Eco is uh, third on the list just because the nibs are not as smooth and it's just not as pleasant of a writing experience. The last Eco that I purchased was uh, the Cement Gray Special Edition color, and um, I got that one in a broad nib, and I just, I just, it didn't feel as nice as the 580s feel. So, so these are definitely higher on my um, preference list than, than the Ecos are. All right, well, that's all I think I had for you today. Feel free to ask any questions that you have down in the uh, question area below. And I hope to see you next time. But until then, have a great day. And you can, of course, subscribe to keep track of future videos. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. All right, thanks so much. Bye.